Virtual Thread has released in the Java 21, but how can I use it? In this video, I will explore more the power and the capability of the Virtual Threads in Java 21. Hello you, my name is Otavio Santana and welcome to my YouTube channel. This channel is for you who is a senior engineer, an architect, and want to achieve better results exploring more the open source knowledge and techniques. So subscribe and become even better software engineer. Okay, let's talk more around virtual threads. You might know this feature especially because we could see several amazing articles around virtual threads, explain the idea. It's super, it is super fast, the frameworks adoptions, exploring the virtual threads feature. However, it's super crucial to highlight that the virtual thread does not deprecate the platform threads. Both are amazing and both have trade-offs. So it's important to read more about it. I will put the reference on the video descriptions to you pay more attention. And once I say that, let's cover the virtual threads here. So I will create my class virtual thread test. Oops. And then I will should hello world with virtual thread, of course. So I will come here. I will create my thread, my thread, and then do my thread join. I will execute. As you can see, I start my virtual threads. Okay. And that is it. You also have the option to define thread with thread of virtual as you can see we do have both as i said virtual and of platform both are super valid to take a look and understand the trade-off okay um, it's also important to understand how the sys operation work because as i said both are amazing it's super valid um, let's move on to the next topic here where I will create my virtual threads with name. So I will define test here. Public voice should get virtual thread name. And this time I will define my builder builder and then thread of virtual the name you be my virtual thread i do have my runnable task so let's create hello world and then I do have my builder, not you, but almost task. And then I will get my thread name. And finally, my thread join. And as usual, oops, I execute here. So. As you can see, I do have my virtual thread. Uh, another point is, of course, you can do have multiple threads. So, for example, uh, I will create more one here. And the good advantage of virtual threads, of course, it is cheaper than the platform thread. So, should create multiple 
instance and I will call paste here my virtual thread I will define a number to start then I will take my task here so I will take my task but this time I will put my 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 thread go ahead thread oops thread id and then I have my thread one and then my thread two oops oops not you okay my thread two so what I'm gonna do I will take my thread one to join my thread two to join oops I need to define this signature and then execute again so my hello world my thread id as you can see both are different and the last one that i will cover quickly here is just to explain that yes you can have your executor servers using virtual threads for example i will come here public void should use executor service as test and then of course you can come here executor executor and then executors in plural and for now I can do my new virtual thread per task execution and of course it will complain so let's check what I did wrong so I guess let's put the throw exception here and let's see what's going on so I do have my executor my executor and then of course stop here okay I found the reason so it is executor service and then I will take the future submit hello world and then the result and of course the end let execute So today we covered a little bit around virtual thread. As you can see, um, we do have right now one way to use threads at the JVM level instead of only have by the system operation or platform uh, level. As you can see, also none of those are deprecated. Both is still valid. It's super crucial to understand when to use the platform thread, when to use the virtual thread. Um, we do have right now a builder to create your virtual thread. And of course, if you wish, you can use executor to create a virtual thread by task. That's all for today. Hopefully you enjoy. And of course, give your thoughts, your comments. And please let me know when you're gonna put java 21 on production that's all for today bye